in Dublin. But you were present at the famous meeting in the Rotunda for the foundation of the volunteers. Oh, I was, yes. What was that like? It was a very big meeting. Of course, the thing at the time, I think, what probably had it so big was the fact that the Ulster Volunteers had been formed and with the majority of people it was a case of that the Ulster Volunteers were going to prevent home rule being put on the statute book in Westminster and their idea was well if they're going to fight we'll fight too. <laughs> I think that was, I wouldn't say that all that were at the meeting were had the revolutionary idea of taking on the British Empire. <laughs> what what it, was it that attracted a man like yourself into the volunteers rather than the citizen army? Well, I wasn't in, the tra in a trade union, I suppose, for one thing, you see, and I don't know. I was a shop assistant, actually, and I suppose probably were considered ourselves a bit more respectable or something. I don't know. I couldn't really explain it, but Probably that would be what would be in the back of the minds of people like myself at that time. This was a, a labourer's union, you know. Were these social distinctions very strong, very oh, marked? Yes, very marked. And even amongst the tradesmen. I mean, tradesmen who probably were in a union themselves looked down, you know, and I'm a better tradesman than he is, a better worker, better paid than he is, and don't mix with them that much. You know, they kept more or less in their own circles. What was it that brought you to Glasgow?